a gimbal on a slider? You saw that right. This is the Shark Slider Nano 2 from iFootage. You're watching Synity, supported by b and and CVP. Hi, this is Nino from Synity here at IBC 2024. I'm at the iFootage booth with Madison. How are you? I'm very good, thank you very much. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Actually, you guys, I think one of the first products I ever used from you guys was the slider, right? The Shark Slider Nano. Yeah. And now after how many years? Five years. Five years, you released a second generation of the Nano. What, what's what's new? I, I see I see an RS3, RS4 actually, <laughs> on top of the slider. That sounds, looks great. Yeah, so we released our first Nano five years ago. Uh, we received a lot of feedback in the last five years. Uh, so our team gone back and just go back to the blueprints and we designed everything again from the scratch. So this time Gen 2 is out, you know, we have upgraded a lot of components inside. So now we actually work officially with the DJI team. Uh, we integrated their gimbal directly work on the start slider Nano 2. So to make things a lot, you know, um, seamless. Awesome. So you can actually do camera tracking on a phone, I guess, because I see a phone here and it will operate both the gimbal and the and the slider? Yeah, so with the Nano 1, um, the main feature was the gesture learning. So you can position your camera wherever you want and you set your A, B point uh, and then you press start and everything goes, goes smoothly. So with the Nano 2 now, you can actually do the same, but with the DJI gimbal as well. So imagine you pivot the, the gimbal head up and down, left and right, wherever you want, focus on your subject, and then you press A to set your key, uh, point A. And then you move to another position, set B, and then press it. It's all talking about under 15 seconds setup time. So, so, so it's like a full remote head, actually, with the gimbal you already have, right? Absolutely. So for all the DJI gimbal users, you know, uh, we support from RS2 to RS4. So uh, it supports RS3 and uh, RS3 Pro as well. So how do you actually get the head and the slider in position? So very easy, same as the Nano 1. So you're pressing the both buttons together at the same time. So it's already in the unlock mode. So you can pivot the head. You can actually manually hold the gimbal and position wherever you want and set your point A and move it and slide it to another point and set your point B. So this is really good features, you know, where traditionally you have to use app. You go from one direction to another direction by swiping the actual button, which takes a very long time to go and position it. and but everything you're doing it with our Nano 2 is by hand. And you know, what you see, what you get, basically. And that is also true for positioning the RS? Like, you can, you can also move the gimbal like that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So from the slider and the gimbal, and you can do pan, tail, and wall. Everything you do, it, it captures it. So very easy to set up. Very cool. Very cool. What, what else is new compared to the first generation? So we redesigned a whole tracking system. Uh, now we use like a linear bearing. So make things a lot smoother and more stable. Um, and we have like, uh, in terms of key point setup, now we have uh, up to eight points. But, but the Gen 1 is only like set A or B point. Uh, and then as you mentioned before uh, about the facial tracking, we actually, uh, the, beta, uh, the beta app, actually we support of, uh, AI facial tracking. So you, you know, very similar to the uh, DJI apps already, you, you circle with your face, and then wherever you go, left and right, it, it always tracks you. So imagine you in a, like a, doing a cooking show, you know, on the lab you're doing like chopping the ingredients while the slider's panning, you know, um, but if you go to the right hand side you know, at the wok, you're doing stir fry, the whole thing is always focused on your face. So you can do your talking and presenting and everything. So it's, it's a lot easier. And it will, it will not just turn the gimbal, it will also actually move on the slider to follow you. At the same time, yes, correctly. Yeah. Um, I think it has a higher payload, I see, it can take more weight. Yeah, absolutely. So with the Gen 1, um, it was a 3.5 kilogram horizontally. Now with the Gen 2, we actually double that. So up to 7 kilograms horizontally. And vertically, it's 3.5 kilogram. So again, with um, mounting a gimbal and a camera on it, so now it's definitely, yeah, support a heavier setup. One of the standard uh, things that's important about motorized sliders is the um, level of sound that they make, because of course you want to be able to shoot interviews with them and be them have them relatively soundproof. Now some of them get really loud when you move them fast. How is it with this one? It's very, very quiet. It's even more quieter than the Gen 1. 
because because again with the linear bearing. So I mean, you can point your mic right next to it. Well, it's very loud here, but yeah, I don't I don't hear it. I actually don't do not hear it. Yeah, we will do a sound test and post it on uh, our social media, and yeah. So, what's the minimum and maximum speed it can do? Uh, the minimum, so not on top of my head right now, but I think it was roughly under, yeah. under one one mil uh, per second up to, I think it's 45 mil uh, per seconds, yeah. Very cool. And I think there's, well, you have a battery here, and uh, I also want to mention, this is the longer version. You also have a shorter one, right? Yeah, that's right. So with Nano 2, we have two lengths. Um, so this one is 660, uh, physically, uh, in length, uh, but the travel range is 40 centimeters. Uh, with the shorter one, it's uh, 440. Uh, the travel range is uh, 20 centimeters. So there are two lengths, yeah. So with Nano 2, uh, it's still, we say, uh, support the MPF battery, Sony battery. Um, but sometimes it depends on the brands, you know, batteries, is, uh, they, they vary, the performance varies. So that's why we came out with uh, the new battery grip. Um, you can use it as um, all-in-one battery power solutions for the sliders, uh, for the gimbal, and also power the, the camera at the same time with one, just one cable. Very cool. Is this, but essentially, is it USB-C or...? Yep. Uh, so you could use any power bank as well. Use it. You can use a power bank. You can power your laptop. Um, you can power our light. Well, because it's 140 uh, watt uh, power, uh, so you can power our 130 light uh, as well. So you can one hand grip it as a you know a portable light a lighting solutions as well. And that's an optional accessory, or is part of the kit? Yeah, it is an optional optional kit, but it's very handy. Again, it yesterday we ran the whole show whole day. Uh, it only just uses one bar out of four. Oh. So we just go going back and forth. So yeah, it's very long lasting. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, pricing and availability of the two sliders and the battery. Sure. So for the for the long one, long version Nano Two, uh, we go into price it for uh, seven forty nine US dollars, and for the shorter one, it's going to be six forty nine uh, US dollars. And then the battery grip. Uh, so far, we price it at one one nine US dollars. Yeah. Great. And when will all of that be available? We are aiming to have them come out by November time. So stay tuned and subscribe to our social media for all the news. Awesome. Love, love the idea. Just the, you know, like we haven't seen a lot of innovations with sliders, to be honest, in the last few years. I mean, there was this hypes, yeah. hype like what, eight years ago, nine years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody kind of forgot about them. And yeah, it's nice to actually combine the more, you know, modern things like gimbals with a slider. This makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. So looking forward to trying it out. Thank you, Madison. Thank you and uh, have a good rest of the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Synity for a lot more from IBC 2024. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.